Hello all, welcome to the 21.1 Digital.AI Agility release video. In this video, we'll cover some of the exciting enhancements available in the spring release. The Agility 21.1 highlights are landing page enhancements, team room board enhancements, team room filter, delivery insights in a team room, multi-select on boards, move card to the top of the column. Let's start with the new landing page for new users logging into Agility for the first time. In an effort to enhance a new user's experience in Agility, we have updated the landing page. The landing page now includes a new look and feel with tabs to assist different personas to get started quickly. Product owners and team members now have dedicated tabs to point them to the right direction. Product owners now have a dedicated tab that introduces them to quick ways to get to their backlog started so that teams have stories to execute on. There is also a new resource available to help enhance a product owner's skills. Agile.ai is a new resource aimed at enhancing your Agile knowledge and includes forums to chat with others about topics of interest. The Agile.ai site has articles on many different topics. Do have a look to see how Agile.ai can help. Developers and testers have a dedicated team tab, which enables them to find their work faster by pointing them to areas like team rooms. If a user is already a member of a team room, then that would be presented here, or else he can click on the team room view and manage all team room section. For enterprise customers who may have hundreds or even thousands of team rooms, the filter on the team room here provides an easy way to locate the team room. We hope that your new users enjoy this new landing page and the team room filter enhancement. Let's continue with more enhancements by navigating to a team room. Next we have is delivery insights in a team room. Teams utilizing both Agility and Continuum now have the opportunity to view where stories are in delivery process beyond dev done. When a team room is configured with the delivery insights plugin, the team will now be able to see packages in different phases of delivery. Here we can see that the packages that matter to this team and now the team has visibility into what stories and defects are there in a package and where that package is located in the delivery process. There is also a legend available to help users understand what the different symbols mean on the board. The delivery insights panel is available via the plugin menu in the team room setup. We hope you enjoy this new way Agility is exposing data from DevOps side of the digital.ai platform. Let's move on to the other features coming in 21.1. The next we have is multi-select onboards. New in the 21.1 release, we have added a very popular idea from Ideaspace and this is the ability to multi-select cards and move them. You can press Ctrl on Windows or Command on Apple devices to select multiple cards. Notice the box in the bottom right corner showing me how many cards I have selected. Once selected, you can move the cards up or down within a column to adjust their rank. You can also select these multiple cards and move them to a new status. You can also select multiple cards and move them from one group by row to another. We hope you enjoy this new multi-select option for boards. Multi-select is available on portfolio, story, task and test boards within Agility. The next we have is move card to a top of a column. When a user has a column with many cards and they need to move a card from the bottom or near the bottom to the top of a row, then that can be a tiresome experience. In 21.1, a user can now simply click on the cards menu and select on move card to top. As you can see, the card is now moved from the bottom to the top of the list. That is all we have for Agility 21.1. Let's move on to Agility Connect 21.1 highlights. Microfocus ALMQC integration, Jira Zephyr test to Agility integration, ServiceNow project management capabilities support. Let us get into each of these in detail. The first one is ALMQC integration. Apart from the existing integrations including Agility, 
Jira, ServiceNav, Azure, and TeamForge, we started supporting MicroFocus ALM QC2. Using Agility Connect, we can create mappings for different asset types. For this use case, we have created bidirectional mappings for story to requirements and defect to defect between Quality Center and Agility respectively. For both these mappings, we have included a variety of fields including description, priority, comments, attachments, and a lot more. The product owner creates stories in Agility which are mapped to requirements in Quality Center. The quality engineers now can qualify those requirements, raise defects using Quality Center, which are in turn mapped to the defects in Agility. Let's create a defect in Quality Center. For the defect, I have given some summary details, description and priority. So let's click on Submit. Within few seconds, this defect is going to get synced into Agility. The product owner or development team prioritizes these defects in agility and will start working on fixing those reported defects. Once it is fixed, update to any status or comments gets synced back to Quality Center for the quality engineers to test or respond back to the queries. Coming back to our mappings view lock section, we can see that the defect created in Quality Center is successfully synced to agility's defect. And once you click on the link, it'll lead you to the respective defect in Agility. This complete cycle of relationship between requirements and defects between Agility and Quality Center is beautifully synced between both the systems. And the complete history regarding each work item, be it a create or update, would be maintained in the view logs page of Agility Connect. Next, we have Jira Zephyr test to Agility integration. Zephyr for Jira is a native application that exists in Jira and brings quality test management capabilities to any Jira project. When Zephyr is used with Jira, the test can be created and can be linked to any story that is there in that particular project or any other Jira project. Tests in Agility are part of stories or epics, whereas Jira has a separate asset called tests. So we need stories to be synced between Agility and Zephyr and then we create tests under those stories and that gets synced between Agility and Zephyr respectively. We have created a mapping between Agility and Zephyr for the test. We support all existing functionality between Agility and Jira for this integration too. This way, the relationship between the story or epics and the test is intact for quick traceability for the product owner or quality engineer to view. We already have few epics synced between Agility and Jira. Let's go ahead and create a Zephyr test under any one of these work items and see if it is getting synced into Agility. Or maybe we can create a test case in Agility and see if it is getting successfully synced as a Zephyr test in Jira. I'm going to add a test case in one of my Agility work items. And click on Save. Within few seconds, you can see that this test case would be turned as a Zephyr test in Jira. Clicking on this new test case that we created in Agility, you can already see a link being created to Jira Zephyr test. Clicking on that will lead you to that particular Zephyr test in Jira. We hope this new integration between Zephyr test to Agility will help you manage the entire test cycle without any hassles. Moving on to the ServiceNow project management capability support. Apart from the catalog task, incident, or any other custom asset with category task, we now support project level entities for ServiceNow. Use digital.ai agility at the portfolio level to extend your existing ServiceNow team level solutions, enabling your organization to roll up stories, epics, and features from each team into a single view for the entire portfolio letting you see everything that is happening in a single place and to easily adjust the direction of the organization to meet the needs of the market. We support all the existing features for ServiceNav for the new project management entities too. The entire history of every work item that has been synced between ServiceNav and Agility is maintained in the view logs page. And when you click on any of those work items, it will lead you to the respective Agility work item or the ServiceNav work item. Please do check our release notes for more information on both the existing and the new integration capabilities for all the supported integrations. That is all we have for Agility Connect 21.1.
This concludes the 21.1 release video. For more details, please check out the release notes on the digital.ai agility community site. We look forward to your feedback and thanks for watching.